Dr. Rose with Natural Transplants, and we're here with Andy this morning. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Hello, everyone. In from Miami. Yeah, I live right down the road here in uh, Miami Beach, so. Awesome, local. So I'm a local, so it was kind of uh, kind of neat to, to come here to see people travel all over the world, come to see you, and I was like, oh, that's, that's right down there, down the street in my backyard, so Lucky that was kind of cool. Shorter yeah. commute. <laughs> so we were just chatting about, you know, basically what drove you to come here, aside from the fact that we're local, and what motivated you to get a hair transplant, aside from the fact that you're a surfer. Let's, let's hear right. all about this, okay? Yeah, just very, yeah, very active, you know, I'm, I'm always, you know, love board sports, if it's skateboarding, snowboarding, surfing, whatever, and just, you know, just an active person outdoors, do a lot of stuff, um, and uh, I kind of noticed when my hair started uh, kind of receding back that, you know, I was able to do kind of the special comb over, the whatever, I would be able to hide it, but as soon as you get wet, there's no hiding it. It would just, you know, then you would really kind of see where you're kind of balding and where you're thinning at, so, uh, you know, so that was kind of something that was popping up a lot and started kind of, you know, in my mind, started making me think about it. Dr. Rose with Natural Transplants, and we are here with Andy. Hey, Andy. <laughs> we are just completing the placing of the grafts right now, and we really filled in the frontal third of his scalp. So we started with the hairline, and then we worked our way forward to back there. Um, how are you feeling, Andy? We're checking in with you. Yeah, I feel uh, really great, relaxed. Um, you know, the staff here was just kind of, you can tell, they're very professional and very kind of uh, easygoing, and you kind of... It kind of uh, rubs off on you, so you just kind of get in a very relaxed mode and let them kind of do their thing. And I, truthfully, it was minimal, minimal uh, on the pain or any of the anxiety, and uh, I'm just cruising along here. I think this is uh, really going, uh, going great. Wonderful. That's so great to hear. And you've been such a relaxed patient, so couldn't be happier. We're going to follow up again at the very tail end of the surgery, but we're about 90% done. Um, truthfully, it, this, you know, the whole process, uh, it felt like it went by very quickly and it was just very comfortable and, you know, and, and great. I just, you know, I kind of came in with the, the thought in the back of your mind of, you know, thinking of skin grafts and stuff like that and then in the end it just it happened so fast and everything gets done so quickly that to me I was pretty impressed of how quickly I'm getting in and out of here so awesome, awesome. very uh, very excited about it hi dr. Rose with natural transplants and we are following up with Andy one year later oh, wow lots of hair tell me what's What's it been like? Yeah. Um, no, it's been great. It's uh, a year removed, and it's funny. It seems like a, a you know, it seems like a long time ago that I had the uh, the procedure done, and it's just and it's funny. It's just kind of been totally carefree. I mean, I think I uh, I had a pretty good response. Um, I think like literally three or four months into it, I was already like had you know quite a bit of hair there. So I think it was like really really. Uh, you know, really good success. And then, I mean, since then, I would say six months out, I was just like, you know, not even caring anymore. It was just like, yeah, I just, you know, I have, I have my old hairline back and it's, it's, it's there. I got all my wild hair back. That's awesome. Yeah. So we're going to show your before pictures, but you've got a lot of hair. I don't think anyone would know that you had a transplant, which is great. Um, let's have you look to the side and Okay, cool. Let me see the other side. Great. And then just kind of mess it up. Look down for me. Let's see, yeah. Nice. Awesome. Okay, and then back towards me. Wow. Oh. Yes. Tons of hair. That Yeah, I like that. We can see your hairline completely natural. You had a really naturally low kind of peak there. I remember that. Yeah, I, I had what, uh, you know, I used to call the Incredible Hulk uh, uh, hairline that was like super, super low, like had nothing. So I actually like my redone one now. So it has more of, you know, 
I think it just sits nicer, you know, up on the top of my head, you know, where it does a V and it's, you know, it's great. So, and you're just been letting it go wild. I'll figure out how to style it, what I want to do with it as it goes on. But for, I was just enjoying just having, having it all again, you know, and just kind of letting it all run wild and just kind of be all over the place. So it's pretty funny because my wife was like, all right, where, how are you going to cut that? I was like, I'll cut it. I'll cut it. I was like, let me just enjoy this little part first. I'm not doing any more hats and any more comb forwards trying to, you know, hide everything that was going. So, Good. so it feels, it feels awesome. Awesome. Yeah. You don't have to hide it. You can let it just go wild. And yep. with quarantine, you're fitting right in, right? Or post quarantine, I should say. Nobody's gotten a haircut in a long time, right? Exactly, exactly. So I'm so happy that you're enjoying it and it, it looks great and very natural. So happy for you. Thank you. Good job. now 844-327-4247 and ask about our hue and hue plus procedures which move more hair than ever before hope to hear from you soon